Channel 22, the Sheridan Channel, continuing our tour of part of the magnificent history of this place we call home, the historic town of Monarch, here with John Buyak, and your grandfather was one of the original coal miners out here in Monarch. Yes, he was. He started in 1910. <laughs> so you've spent a time out here. You still live here. Tell us a little bit about uh, what we're looking at. It, we just see fields now, but tell us some of the things that used to be here. Well, I, some of it's going to be second or third hand because I've only seen it in maps, but some of the buildings were still here when I was a kid, so uh, I remember some of them. Uh, the, the main uh, track from the mine that the coal cars and the electric railway came up was right along this road that we're standing on. Next to it was the trolley track that came from town. And there was a roundhouse back here where they turned the trolley around to head right back over, to Sheridan. Right over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I understand from some of the maps I've seen that there was a house of ill repute here right close to the end of the, the trolley line also. Is that what they called it on the map? <laughs> I don't think so. I think they called it a dance hall or something like that. But the, 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 That was the euphemism they used. <laughs> and then uh, a little farther back that way was a big three-story brick uh, shop building that, where they uh, repaired the equipment that was used in the mine. This is the old mule barn where they used to keep the mules when they used mules to... Uh, pull the coal cars out of the mine. What's this on the hill behind us? <laughs> that was the original water tower the, where the water for the town was stored. They pumped from the river up to the tower and then used gravity to distribute it through the pipe uh, network in town. So that one tower for how many families? Well, it varied a lot, but uh, I've heard there were as many as 400 families at one time. Where are we now? Uh, this is the remains of the old fan house where they pumped air down into the mine. These are the, the foundations. You can see the, uh, the bolts where they had the fans bolted down. Um, you can see it on the diorama at the museum or the cutaway of the mining, but uh, they used a double entry system where they had two parallel tunnels running back into the, the mine, and they had air dams in between the two tunnels so that they could pump air down one side and it circulate down through the mine and then come back out the other side. And of course they needed that fresh air to be that far underground. Yeah, and, and on top of that there were explosive gases down there that they had to flush out also to make it safe to work. There's the, uh, the old bridge across the Tongue River. That was where the, the tracks curved around and went across and there was a tipple on the railroad tracks right on the other side of the bridge. And then back all along the big field along the river were uh, houses. And a little bit further up this direction was the mine offices. Next to that was the uh, old tra Monarch Trading Post, the, the uh, company store. But then, uh, and then right at the, the bottom of the hill over here was uh, the bathhouse where the miners would go to, to get cleaned up before they went home after their shift. So, and then I noticed uh, not all the buildings are gone, and in particular there's a beautiful church here. Tell us about that. That was the old uh, Catholic church, and uh, it was uh, purchased here a few years ago. Uh, the, it was originally scheduled to be torn down, but it was purchased, and it's now a private residence and private land there uh, where somebody lived. 